Outstanding. It actually is big. Big day in the FIP household again. I'll give you my Alabama update. So our oldest daughter's back in town tonight um, from Alabama. First time coming back for Thanksgiving. So big night in our house. My wife's pumped, um, and I'm excited to see her too. Two losses, Did she make the right choice? Dude, I know. She's definitely wondering. I mean, Tennessee's looking better. <laughs> hey, man. What's the fifth staple for Thanksgiving or something? Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's a great, actually, that is a great question. So um, a long time ago, I was a graduate assistant at the University of Arizona, and a buddy of mine, Brent Brennan, he's now the head coach of San Jose State. <laughs> great guy. Um, one of my best friends. And... Uh, his dad came into town, and we were both GAs at Arizona. His dad comes in town. I think we played Friday after Thanksgiving, something like that. And uh, uh, his dad comes into town, and his dad fries a turkey. And I'm, like, watching this process. Like, this is incredible. You know, let me see this thing. So I, I would say ever since then, so I don't know, it was 20, I don't know, something years, 22, 1, uh, 21 years I fried a turkey. So yeah, it's been good. Deep fryer back or something. Yeah, deep fryer. We don't do it around any wood, not near the house, away from everything. We defrost the bird before we put it in there. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the invite. We'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, to football, what does what does the Dory give them in terms of the, the punt return game? Yeah. So obviously, explosive player. They got uh, Richie too back there, 80, and uh, Dory who they put back there most recently, but. Two really good players uh, catching those punts. Um, they, they've had some challenges, I think, catching them a little bit and or holding on to it after the catch a little bit throughout the year. But with the ball in their hand and making a play, man, these guys are explosive and they're good. So explosive players, we got to take care of that. Obviously, we got to protect first and then punt the ball. Um, but yeah, two good players back there. And their kick returner, Brightwell, younger player out of Arizona, um, strong, tough, physical, similar to the guy we played against last week, who obviously we didn't play perfect against. So um, we got our challenges. Is there another Charles Harris thumb on that extra point that they missed, though? Or was I don't think there had? was a thumb, but golly, I think took a right hand turn after it came off his foot. Uh, no, those guys for us have been rushing hard all year long. I really do uh, think that our field goal block guys have done a good job um, of putting pressure on those guys. But Man, it is a crazy game. It came down to a kick, and we were obviously forcing it to be on the right end of that. Tim's question a little bit. Um, you guys have been uncharacteristically leaky, I think, in, in punt return. Um, you know, Jack's always been so good there and working with the, the coverage units. Have you been able to identify a consistent theme for you know, why teams have been able to, to kind of nickel and dime you on those returns? Yeah, so uh, I would say two things. Uh, one is uh, when you say punt returns, I would say return yards are not a huge stat to me. We could uh, we talked about this, I think, a year ago. Like, we could hammer the ball 70 yards down the field and give up 20-yard return, still have a 50-yard net. It would be a good play. But I would say to answer your question, the net would be important to me, and our net has been down. So I'm not sidestepping the question. Um, I totally get that. Um, yeah, our net's definitely not been where we want it to be. It's not up to really where I want it to be. I know Fox, too. And I would say it really probably does start with the punter. we got to punt the ball a little bit better. Um, he hasn't played quite up to his standard um, the last couple of weeks. Now, that being said, we haven't had a huge sample size. Some of our punts have been in the plus 50 area. We hit a couple touchbacks, so that brings the net down, too. So I think there's some other things going on kind of to that point of, Never too high, never too low. It's some of the truth is kind of somewhere in between a little bit, but definitely we can improve in those areas. I got to do a better job, and we got to execute better. He has been handling kickoffs recently. Is there any correlation you think there? Yeah, you know, people people love to say that we all want to look for one thing or the easy answer to point to, and I would say that would definitely be something easy we could point to. But I, personally, do I feel that way? I don't at all. Um, I feel like he's managed that fine. I don't think it affects the way he points the ball. Um, but, I mean, it does add something to his point. I'm not naive about that, but I don't think that's the reason why he's punting the ball the way he's punting it. Talk about Badgley and just the, the comfort level he's given you a couple weeks ago, but maybe you can revisit that, especially last week. Maybe showed the, the fickle nature of the position a little bit, right? Cairo perfect on field goals and misses that PAT and, and Badgley was, was great for you. And, kick for them once upon a time this year. So um, just, you know, yeah. what sort of comfort has he given you to, to be the guy now that has settled in here? 
Yeah, I, I mean, I've really enjoyed being around them. I would say that. And really the biggest reason why I say that is because he's very confident in himself and he knows who he is and he knows the kicker position. And what comes with the kicker position is the highs and the lows. And every like I, I, everyone wants to make it huge and awful and great and terrible. And he is like just right down the middle all the time. And he can miss a kick in practice and like he won't even blink. He'll act like he made it or like you like I've looked at him like for a response and you get nothing, you know, and he's like, Yeah. And it's like, what am I gonna change? It's like nothing. I just miss hit the ball a little bit. You know, and there's some guys who miss it and then they start walking back their steps and looking at the hold and it's like dude. It really had nothing to do with that. You, you missed it by a fraction, and so it pushed outside the uprights. And and he knows that. He gets it. He's like, yeah, no big deal. I missed it a little bit. I'm going to come back. I'm going to hit the same kick. I'm not going to change anything. I know who I am. The next one's going to go through, and it does. So he's never chasing himself, you know, um, which is really good at that position, obviously. But he's definitely a great guy to be around. He's a, he's a talented player. He's very, very consistent. And uh, he, he's been around long enough in this league to know, like, just – control what you can control. Don't worry about all the outside noise and just do your thing. Would we start looking at the forecast for this one? Yeah, I've looked at that. <laughs> no, I, you know, it's funny because, uh, I mean, it's incredible playing here, playing indoors all the time. Um, you know, the wind is never a factor or the weather, I would say. Um, being in Philly for eight years, you know, it's the first thing you look at. I mean, you're always like two weeks ahead and you're counting it down and I would say it's amazing how accurate those things are. Um, I know everyone gives the weather guy a hard time, but they're pretty good. Um, so anyways, what, 38 and wins at 17 right now. Um, that's the last I looked at it this morning. Um, earlier in the week, it was 38 wins at 11 or 12, so it'll probably be somewhere in between. Um, but uh, it's funny because the wind and the weather and all that, there's ways that it hurts you and there's ways that it helps you. In some ways it helps you predict what they're going to do, you know, because there's only so much you can do. You're not going to, if the wind's blowing right to left, it's going to be hard to get the ball to the right side of the field or vice versa. Um, so in some ways it can help you and then in some ways it hurts you. You know, you go indoors and you're like, ah, they could go either way, you know, they either way they want to and it's not going to, the wind's not going to push them into doing one thing. Now that being said, you also have to be able to do more, you know, if the wind's dictating you have to go right or you have to push the ball left, whether it be a punt or a kickoff, then you're going to kind of have to be able to go right and go left. So you can't just do one thing that you're best at. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that comes with it, but I enjoy being outside and having that. That being said, I take indoors every time. <laughs> Check, you, you have the accurate uh, forecast, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> right now, it's still good? 38 and 14 mile per hour. Yeah, OK. That's came down from this morning. <laughs> no. I would say the other thing I would say about this place is uh, the wind's pretty good. Um, like it's a high wall stadium that's vertical and it's enclosed pretty much all the way around. I think there's like a mid-level section that's a little open, um, but I would say it's pretty good. And then to go to the upright question, there's one upright that's not quite as accurate as the other one. But south end zone, especially when you get into those 40 plus yard areas on kicks, it goes down a decent amount. But so if we don't kick the 50 yarder from there, then <laughs> it'll be the south end zone. <laughs> it's pretty good. It swirls pretty good in there. Is that what you mean? Or no, you know, uh, yeah, I say wind's pretty good. It, the ball travels actually fairly well. I, I would say the ball travels fairly well both directions. And uh, even if it feels like you're punting into the wind, like the ball will carry that way if you get it up high enough. Um, and then kickoff's the same thing. The ball usually travels pretty well um, both ways. So. Uh, it's kind of weird. It does kind of swirl around, and it doesn't really affect it. Like from midfield going either way is not terrible.